everyone and welcome back to today's thoughts on the track. We are now on day 7 of our 8 days of Christmas for wave 3 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Pass. And today we're covering Merry Mountain. Curiously, this track does not appear in the game as Tour Merry Mountain, even though it was originally in Mario Kart Tour in 2020. Well, you know my thoughts on Tour tracks so far if you've been watching this series. Other than Berlin Byways, they've mostly underwhelmed me a bit. And with this track, well, I'll just be up front. This is the worst track in the wave, and I think it's pretty obvious. I hate to be a Grinch to a cheerful holiday track, but I mean, could this thing be any more generic? I mean, even the name Merry Mountain is pretty bad. But let's talk about exactly why I don't like this track. First of all, let's talk about the track design. If you want to criticize this wave for being overly easy, then be my guest especially when it comes to this track. There is wide roads, super easy turns, and practically no obstacles whatsoever that can get in your way. I suppose Nintendo felt in the holiday spirit when making this track so utterly easy, but they couldn't have, oh I don't know, added a penguin in or something? Something to make it more difficult? Like this is why I perceive the tour tracks as glorified circuits. They're not daring, like, at all. That being said, this is still probably an upgrade over the Tour version, because at least there's an anti-gravity section. Towards the end of the track, there is a half-pipe, which of course I do like, even if it's meant to take you into anti-gravity and doesn't look like a Mario Kart Wii half-pipe. And then it's three spins on these spin pillars as you scale down the mountain. Wee! Couldn't they have added boost panels there as well, like in the Rock Rock Mountain remake? I'm just saying. At the very least, there is some options in the track design when it comes to the beginning. You have the less daring low path and you have the higher path which does involve a bit more risk, but there's speed boosts when you reach the top of it. I'd go up there every time if I were you. Again, this track has a very low difficulty level. In terms of track details, well, it's pretty, but in a very generic way. Like there's candy canes, trees, and houses, it's a cozy little village but there's absolutely nothing that catches your eye in any way. Nintendo could have been more daring with adding visuals and upgraded this boring snooze fest from Tor, but really they didn't. Like if I wanted uninteresting Christmas themed entertainment, I'd just watch the Hallmark Channel. And if you think, well, at least Nintendo is trying to do a Christmas themed track, they've never really done that before, um, I don't know about that. The Winter Animal Crossing track looks pretty Christmassy to me. And it's a lot better than this. And it wouldn't be a run-of-the-mill Christmas track without incredibly generic holiday-themed music. Well, that's what this track has got. It's got jingling bells, a very merry tune, and a very upbeat nature. That's great and all, but the melody is just so tame and is not memorable whatsoever. Like, I could play this track five times in a row, someone could tell me to hum the melody from this track, and I probably could not. That is how bland it is. Now, listening to it on its own, I maybe softened my opinion up a little bit. I thought to myself, does this give me Mario Galaxy vibes? And sure enough, the more supportive people in the comment section were echoing that opinion. And hey, I do like how there's a train echoing in the background, similar to N64 Rainbow Road Remake. But the music overall, I think, is a disappointment. So my thought on this track is that it's plain and simply not that good. There are, I suppose, some redeeming factors. It's cheerful and cozy, both music and environment-wise. It's an easy track to play if you just want to take a breather and not be super competitive. But in other words, that all basically makes it the comfort food of Mario Kart. It's the McDonald's of Mario Kart. Its Christmas theme is just so trite in my opinion, and I think they did a much better job with the Winter Animal Crossing track than they did with this Mountain of Coal. 5 out of 10, and that's being generous. You will have much more fun playing any other tracks from this wave, and most other tracks from this game. So what are your thoughts on Merry Mountain? Do you have a more positive opinion than me? Let me know in the comments, and I will see you tomorrow with 3DS Rainbow Road. Bye bye!